In this section we will begin working with Axis 7's adaptive views. I'm going to introduce a number of techniques which should get you well on your way to creating adaptive designs. We're going to set up some adaptive views here, introduce how design is inherited through adaptive views. We'll also learn what aspects are adaptive, not everything is, and the methods for adapting different aspects are managed in different ways. OK, let's open a new project file. Please note I'm using Google Chrome for prototyping. I'd recommend you install Chrome if you don't have it already. Alternatively, the odd thing may be slightly different if you're using another browser. Let's open the Manage Adaptive Views dialog, which is found here, top left of the canvas. This is where we can create and manage adaptive views. We're going to create three views in this demo. Small, uh, a view generally speaking for mobile, medium for tablet, and large for desktop. I'm deliberately not specifying device types. Um, I feel I'm designing for screen real estate rather than specific devices. This may be different for you. I suggest you explore and discover what is right for you. The first point to make is that even though there are no entries yet, a view does already exist. It's called the base view. It's not listed here because it's not adaptive. It's the regular default view that we all know and love and from which all the other views are derived. So the first decision we need to make is whether the base view is the small, medium or large view. Before we can make that decision and start creating views, we need to understand inheritance. OK, that was your quick intro to the Manage Adaptive Views dialog. We'll be back to this shortly, but next up we will introduce how design is inherited through each of the adaptive views you create.